So now we're just gonna thread it in. So here's the screw. But yeah, this is it. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So we're gonna fix these threads by using one of the heli coil kits. The kit is pretty much a, a, a wire thread insert. And what it, what it consists of is a special tool. Uh, this tool is gonna be used to thread in the tap. And it's also gonna be used to screw in the wire thread or the wire coil. But it also comes with the tap, right? And the cool thing about this tap is if you lose the packaging, it has the requirements for the tap uh, or for the coil that you're, you're, you're intending to use it with. So I think that's pretty cool. Then of course you have the, the coil. Note that this has a tab on the end that you're gonna use to insert. You insert the special tool in and this is gonna be used to pretty much thread it in the new hole we create. And then if you notice closely, it has a tab here. So that way this part, you can punch it out and it easily breaks off. So that's a good benefit too. Now in this kit, it does not, they usually don't include drill bits. I haven't seen any that did have a drill bit. This one is gonna require a quarter inch uh, drill bit as specified on the tap. And so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna drill a new hole. We're gonna tap the hole and then we're gonna use this tool to insert the wire coil. So let's go. Okay, so we're gonna start off by drilling the hole. I just dabbed a little oil on it. Just gonna go ahead and drill that out. Make sure you're going straight all the way down. Of course, I would recommend using an impact drill, but this is the only drill I have. So you're gonna take it all the way down. So don't let any get in the block. Use a Q-tip to grab some of the metal. Perfect. All right, so now we're gonna use the tap. So we're gonna start it off. Take our time with this. Back it out, see what we got. Okay, yeah, we got some good looking threads there good looking threads and it looks like it goes deep enough. So now we're gonna take our coil and I know this is a common thing because this is the second time it happened and I still have another one to do this to. I'm learning my lesson as I go and destroy the threads on my engine block. So, <laughs> so now we're gonna, we're gonna sit the coil on top like that so now we're just gonna thread it in. We're gonna go slow.
make sure it's all the way down. Okay, that looks great. That looks great. So it's right beneath. Uh, I think maybe. Yeah, let's get it beneath that first thread. Let's go a little. Let's see if I can. off all the way it's supposed to break off <laughs> but so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try to break it off all the way and then use one of the q-tips to pull it out snug and it uh it doesn't succumb to vibration so that's another good thing about it so yeah this is what's up 